Founded in the early 20th century, Major League Baseball is the home of America's pastime. And with such a rich history, time has revealed some fascinating concepts and quirks. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the most fascinating facts we could find about Major League Baseball. The records, the players, and the sport itself. The Bambino is still the game's greatest showman. Number 5. The Yankees are the most successful team in North America. World champions for the 27th time. Established in 1901 as the Baltimore Orioles and briefly known as the New York Highlanders, the New York Yankees received their famous nickname in 1913. Since then, the organization has produced some of the most beloved figures in American sports. Their 27 World Series titles make them not only the most successful franchise in the MLB, but the most successful team in all major sports leagues in North America. Ball game over! World Series over! Yankees win! The Yankees won their first championship in 1923, achieving a 95-54 record before taking down the New York Giants in six. Through all these years and championships, the only decade in which the Yanks didn't win a World Series was the 1980s. Perhaps not surprisingly, they're also among the five most valuable sports teams in the world. In 2015, Forbes valued them at $3.2 billion. The Yankees win! Number 4. Seven hours separate the longest and shortest MLB games. While baseball often receives a bad rap for its supposed bore factor, but this baseball, it's so bleeding boring. Diehard fans take joy in the leisurely pace and tactical execution of three hour games. Of course, a ticking clock doesn't end baseball matchups like other sports, so imagine the surprise when a 1919 game before the New York Giants and Philadelphia Phillies clocked in at 51 minutes, becoming the shortest nine inning contest in MLB history. By contrast, the longest game ever documented came in 1984 as the Chicago White Sox and Milwaukee Brewers struggled to earn the victory during 25 innings, lasting 8 hours and 6 minutes. Most games of risk don't even last that long. Number 3. MLB Baseballs are prepared with a mysterious New Jersey mud. This is the only mud that Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball uses. Since 1938, Lena Blackburn Rubbing Mud has been in business with Major League Baseball, and that's because their magic mud from the Delaware River works better than more practical techniques used to prepare new baseballs. They're great for getting autographs on, but for a player to grip this, it's slick. Major League Baseball spends approximately $5 million on baseballs per year, but only about twenty to 25000 on the mud. The mud allows pitchers to get a firmer grasp on the 108 stitches of the ball. And while the mud theoretically should be enough to satisfy coaches and players alike, pitchers have long tried to alter the ball on the field. In fact, until 1920, spitballs were allowed, and pitchers could use as much saliva as they so desired. Spit on this for me, Smithers. One hucker coming up, sir. Number two, Japanese pitchers are trained differently than American pitchers. Last year's Rookie of the Year with a 13 and six mark. The traditional windup of Major League pitchers usually involves an organic, free-flowing motion, whereas Japanese pitchers often switch it up with an extended pause. And this highlights a fundamental difference in mechanics and training. Americans place value in routine and repetition, and believe that effective pitching equates with utilizing total body strength. On the flip side, Japanese pitchers often place more focus on lower body strength, which alters the tempo of their delivery. And though neither is necessarily right or wrong, the Japanese typically have success in the major league, certainly because they're talented, but also because of their forced break from routine. And he strikes out Tian, so back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the bottom of the fourth. Number one, Babe Ruth's highest salary was $80,000. None of these bums are the equal of Babe Ruth. Today, Major League Baseball players make lots of money, of course. But imagine this, Babe Ruth, one of the most legendary ball players of all time and hugely popular in his day, never earned more than $80,000 in a single season. Adjusted for inflation, that equates to about $1.1 million per year. That's a lot of money for sure, and it was an unprecedented amount when he signed the contract. But if the Sultan of Swat were playing today, $1.1 million would be peanuts. In the 2016 season, there will be over 30 players making more than $20 million. Man, I did love this game. How to play for food money. One of the biggest stars of recent years, Alex Rodriguez, has made over $350 million in his career. Adjusted for inflation, Babe made only $14 million. I've got a feeling this disparity would have provoked the Big Bam's famous temper. 
So, what fact surprises you the most? And are you a traditionalist baseball fan or interested in new changes to the game? Babe Ruth was awful. How can you negate facts? For more Big Bam Top 10s and Temperamental Top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Damn nation, these banjos couldn't carry Pie Trainer's glove.